Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? Um, let me know when you hop on and uh, let me know where you're from and if you got stuck in the blizzard because uh, I know that a lot of you guys got a lot of snow. Thankfully I did not. I don't like snow. That's why I moved here. Anyway, when you guys come on, let me know that you're here and um, where you're from. And today we're going to be playing with lots of products. So um, I just want to let you know I'm Roz and I'm a brand ambassador with Redesign with Prima and my business is uh, New Old Finds. Um, okay, so we're going to be playing with this... Uh, jewelry box here, which is, isn't it fabulous? This thing is huge. I haven't had a large jewelry box like this in a really long time. Um, but, uh, I have it all taken apart. So like the, the lid is off, the side panels are off and all of the bits and pieces are up in here. Um, it comes with a lot of really cool pieces. Like it has these, um, uh, necklace holders they go on the side here so i want to do um something different with them so i took them all off everything is off actually oh hello from egypt wow that's awesome thank you for coming and hanging out with me um so i am going to be doing stencils and I'm going to use this stencil, which is the, um, the elegant lace. And I'm going to put that on the side of, over here. And then the transfer is the watercolor bloom because it's so pretty. I love it. And then, um, I'm going to probably put this, uh, tissue paper though. The, no, sorry. This is the the rice paper, I don't want to get it mixed up with the tissue paper. This is the uh, the rice paper, and this one is called Floral and Dream. And this one I'm going to put on the back. Because um, you got to make the back of your jewelry boxes look just as pretty as the front. Okay, so I quickly um, did what I could painting-wise earlier. Um, I may just do here on this one and on that one too still because um, probably my transfer will wrap around to that part and I didn't have time to get that done earlier. So I'm going to do that real quick and then um, I will start um, stenciling the side while I'm waiting for that to dry. So let me just push this guy back. So this color is actually a combination of two colors because I was running out of French eggshell, so I had to mix it with something else. So this is uh, Fusion Mineral Paint, this French eggshell, and Champlain. So I did a 50-50 mix, and I got just a lighter version of the, the French eggshell. You can see it's just a little bit lighter, but it's really pretty. So I'm quite happy with the color that it came out to. It's just like a beautiful lighter version. So I'm just going to quickly paint the side here. And I'm just using a, using a Klingon, but you can use whatever you like. Any brush that suits your fancy. This just happened to be what I had handy. These jewelry boxes are funny because you think, oh, they're just like a tiny little piece, right? Like they're just a little, a little thing. It, it can't take that long, but it does. There's so many little bits and pieces and parts and all that. They really take a lot of time. They're very time consuming. So I find like when I do a jewelry box, it's actually more time consuming than a, than a, a, a furniture, you know, like a dresser or something, because it's a smaller area. So you have 
um, you have a lot more finicky bits and whatnot to, to work with. But you can definitely get really creative with them. And then I still need to decide what I want to do on the side of the drawers, too. Haven't decided that. I don't know. All right, so that is that way. Okay. All right, so put that down. Let that dry. And then I will do that side real quick. Okay. Because this is where this is where the transfer will um, will go over. I got to show you guys the glass that comes in this piece. It's so cool. All right, let's do that real quick. Not that that part really matters so much. All right, put that off to the side, let that dry. All right, check out the glass on this, okay? So it's rounded for one. Look at how round that is. Woo, cool, huh? And then look at this pattern, like etched pattern in the glass. It's so cool. I love it. But I have to put it over here and I had to take it off or I would break it because that's how I roll. I break glass. That is me. Okay. So for my stenciling, I'm going to use the pearl uh, metallics from Fusion. Hey, Regina. And um, these are super opaque, so it comes out really beautifully. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to just tape it up. I basically just want, you know, it to be kind of in the middle here, not too high, not too low, because I will, um, the bar will be right here, but I do want to add, you know, a little bit of transfer probably there as well, just because, you know we can right all right so let me get my tape 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 and tape that in place see i like to name or label my stencils so i don't forget what they are because sometimes i cannot find the wrapper okay so that looks straight. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little, couple small pieces down on the bottom there. One on each side here, just to hold it in place. Freshly painted paint, so hopefully you don't pull it up, but I don't think it will. I prepped. I prepped it. All right, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty straight, eh? What you think? It's good. I think it's good. I'm gonna put it down a bit. There we go. Y'all can see now. Y'all can see now. There. All right. So I might have to bonk this so it might get loud for a sec. There we go. Such a pretty metallic. Love it. All right. Uh, let me get a brush. Sorry, I'm going to get in the frame. Forgot to grab my stencil brush. Now, these are technically the wax brushes, but I like to stencil with them. So we're going to use that. Make sure there's no fluff. And I'm just... Get a little bit on there and dab dee dab dab. dab 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 I'm gonna hold the top
If there's excess, you can just brush it off with your, your brush so that you don't get like that raised edge. Okay, just need just a smidge more. Just a smidge. Get down on the bottom there. I gotta be real careful here because it's pretty close to the bottom. Now, of course, this will look, I'm sure, distressed anyway, which is perfectly fine. Okay. Did I get the bottom? I don't know. It's hard to tell until you pull the, the, um, until you pull it away. Hang on, let me see if I can tilt it a bit. Take the top off first before I tilt so it doesn't go flying. There we go. Nobody wants to see it go flying. I don't. Okay. I think I got it. I think so. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, pretty. Can you guys see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's hard to tell. I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see. Ooh, pretty. So shimmery. <laughs> shimmery and pretty. All right, so we're gonna let that dry and move on to the other side and do the same thing. And I've been using this little screw hole right here to line up straight. So that worked out well, I shall do it again. Okay. All right. And again, just getting a little bit I mean, I'm just using what's on the lid. I'm not like dipping into my, my, uh, my container or anything. I don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And then again, just dab, dab, dab. If you have a smaller stencil brush, that will work as well. Or if you use a roller, you could use a roller, no problem. All my, I don't know where my rollers are right now. I think they're somewhere over here, but this was what I saw, so this is what I used. Now you can use any brand metallic, of course. I just, I really prefer the, the fusion for the, uh, the opaqueness. Okay, let's get the bottom part again then. Again, just a little dippity dab. And just go along that little part of the design on the bottom there carefully. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's see. Ooh, so pretty. All right. So I can put that aside to clean. Hey, Crystal. Okay. So now I need that to dry. So now I need to figure out my 
my design on the front. How do I want to do that? And also, I need to put another coat real quick on here on the front so that I can get the design to work well. There's lots more finicky parts and, and whatnot to doing a, um, a jewelry box, especially one this big. This is more like a tabletop armoire as opposed to a jewelry box. So it's definitely a little more, a uh, little more involved to it. I know that you'd think just, oh, cause it's so small. <laughs> it's not, it's crazy. So many things that you have to paint, so many things that you have to take care of on it. So definitely can be a little bit more tricky than a, than an actual piece of furniture. Okay. Let's get that to dry. Ooh. Get my paper out. See, now I went and got paint on my paper. Oh well. It will be all right. Okay. And this is the front, so. See, I'm barely using any paint. This, the Fusion covers so well. I'm just using whatever's on my brush. I love this transfer, it's so pretty, it's so delicate. Do you guys like this one? The watercolor bloom, have you used it yet? Oh, don't you just love the tape? Isn't the tape like so much fun? This one luckily was right there on the edge. Really, the tape, the tape. At least they're shorter pieces now. They used to be ginormous. I mean, look at those colors. So pretty, so, so pretty. You do, it is beautiful. It's what I put on my iPad case. Oops. papers in there. All right, guys. So when you open your transfers, you want to make sure that you don't let them roll back up on themselves. So for instance, this section here, right? Just in, um, you know, in, in packaging and whatnot, the, the, the backing paper got like folded over which means that it comes, you know, away from the clear sheet a lot easier, right? Which if you roll it, that can easily, easily get stuck to itself. So you need to really be careful and conscious when you open the, the transfers to double check, you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and fold that over so that it doesn't want to roll back on itself. So there, now it's straight again. So you just need to be a little more careful with them. Uh, you can't just yank them out of the package and then yank the backing off and you know, you gotta, you gotta be real careful. 
All right, so let's figure out our design. I love this right here, this little bit here. I like that on the side here. I think that's really pretty. So let's cut that guy out. Because he's part A. here would be really pretty with the uh, I gotta get the doohickey back over there though but I think that will be lovely right there okay so that one's gonna go there so now I need to find a piece for the other for down here Yes, one day I will get my chair fixed so it does not squeak. But right now it's squeaking. I'm sorry. Um, I have a couple choices on this sheet. I could do that, this one, and then build up from it. Or I could do that one and just take over the bottom. Or I could do that one. Goodness, three choices. Hmm. Well, you know what? Here's what we do when we have three choices. We cut them out and we look. And we see which one looks the best. Have the correct scissors. Okay, there's one. And because I this transfer has all these extra little pieces, it's great. Lots of uh, really good fillers. Like this little one here is cute for a filler. That's perfect for a filler. Okay, there's another. And then I really like this one too. Here's our three choices. Okay. So can you guys see? Yeah, you can. Okay. So this one. And unfortunately, I can't get this hardware off. I tried real I tried everything I could think of to get it off, and nothing would work. I was really upset about that. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty tricky to figure out how to get the transfer in and around the hardware but I think I can do it so it can be like that mm. or or like that Or this one. Uh, I think it goes 
goes this way. More like that. Which is basically that other one, isn't it? Yeah, it's like pretty much just that. So this guy can be out. It's a little too big. So now we've narrowed it down to two. That. Or the blue and work, or the, this one and work our way around it. I think probably this one and work our way around. All right, so in the meantime, let's do this guy here. Okay, let's see if my, my pieces are done. Are they dry? They are dry. All right, so this guy goes here. Like that. All right, so this is going to go up. Now, the only tricky thing is I think these are a little higher than they should be. So, put this under. Like, you know, when you have it uh, hooked on. The, the, the what do you call it? <laughs> the what do you call it? Um, <sighs> one day my brain will cooperate. Um, The hinges, when the hinges are on, the door stays a little bit higher so it doesn't scrape on the top and doesn't scrape on the bottom. Okay, anyway. Okay, so let me find my uh, exacto blade. There we go. All right, and I got my stick. Yes, you can. You can bend the transfer. It will be fine. Um, if you guys like using the transfer tool, here is the transfer tool. Um, I prefer the stick. It's just, I don't know. But I might use the transfer tool on here because there's some little ridges and things. So as you can see, there's lots, there's ridges, there's drawers, there's the door, there's hardware, there's lots of different elements here that, um, hi Vilman, that going over the, those edges and stuff are ridges and whatnot. They're, they're a little more difficult to, to do, but I think that I should be able to show you. Okay. Alrighty. So this one's going to go up here. So it's going to be on the door. It's going to be on one, two, two drawers, and then up here on the top. So there's lots of cutting that will need to be done. So I'm going to start by applying it up here and then cutting my way as I go down. I don't want to just cut. I, I want it to be strategically done so that it will all line up, hopefully, the way I want. All right, so I'm trying to get it around the hardware so the less I have to muck about with the hardware, the better, because that is going to be a pain in the butt to try to um, get that to to work, like to have the transfer. I'm gonna have to cut very carefully around the hardware when I get to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just cut right here. That's my door. 
and I think it's right here. And you can get, you know, you can use any craft knife. Knife. Um, I just grabbed these at the dollar store for a dollar. You get three for a buck. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. All right, I want to get a little bit of space between if I can. There. Okay. And then that's going to go all the way down. All right. And then I shall continue right here where the drawer is. Okay. And then I can apply almost like a puzzle in pieces, right? So I will apply the top piece here first, and then I'll move on to the next section. I'll move on to the side, and then a drawer, and then another drawer. Meanwhile, this isn't attached. It's just kind of floating there. But let's get this piece on here. I feel like there's an air bubble there, but it could just be the paper crinkling. Yeah, it's just the paper crinkling. Okay. And then you're just going to want to go over it with your fingers. Smooth down any wrinkles or air bubbles. Fit it into any decorative bits that there are like this. Okay, so that side, that part is done. All right, so now I'm going to do the door here so that I can remove it because it's kind of in my way. So I'm just going to take that off. Okay, and whoop, make sure... Okay, there we go, just get that on there, you see how well the transfers stick to the fusion paint, they love fusion paint like love it they just they stick so so well all right so now I need to do my my uh, drawer here and so I have to cut right here And right here. Okay. That's for this drawer here. And I'm going to also make a slit right here where my hardware is. So my transfer has somewhere, has room to go. And doesn't get all uh, tangled up there. Okay, now I'm just using my fingers to basically get into the grooves and all of that. And then hopefully, oh, one little spot did not slice. Did I get it? Yeah. And then I can just pull it out and apply. But it's basically, that's exactly what it is, is like a puzzle. You have to, you know, piece everything together, try and fit it in wherever you can. Okay. I think that's 
good. Love it. Good, good, good. Okay. So now the next will be right here. So I just got to slice again down the drawer, underneath the drawer. If I can get it in there, there we go. Okay, and then again. Now, because this is freshly painted, uh, my tool is nicking really easily, which is perfectly fine. I shall go and uh, touch up. See, I just nicked it there. But that's fine, I can easily go and touch up. Okay, and then I'm almost done. I just gotta go down this drawer and that drawer. And then in between, almost forgot. Okay, this little guy goes on this drawer. Just one tiny little leaf. Okay. This one has a couple little leaves. Okay, that guy's done. So now all that's left is this middle piece here. There, beautiful. You guys can do that too. Just making sure everything is stuck down well. Okay. And then this is what it will look like with the door in. Of course, it will be up a little bit higher, like there. So I need to do just a little touch up with paint right here in the corner. Um, because the transfer moved over. That's okay, it's okay. Look how pretty it looks already. Okay, so now the fun starts. <laughs> We're going to attempt to do transfers over and around hardware. Let's see if we can do this. For this, I shall remove the door so I do not have it go flying. Okay. And which one? I chose this one, right? Yeah. I chose this one. All right. What do you think? Do you think I'm going to be able to do this? I don't know. I do not. I do not. I do not know. So this one, I will need to put this guy on this side. Oh, I already nicked it there, too. This one will need to be here. Okay. Because that's going to want to go over there. Wonder if this is going to even be possible. I guess we shall find out. All right. I mean business now. I need to put my hair up in a ponytail, guys. Definitely can do it. You're so tough. Don't. Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. All right, let's get the hair out of the way. So, I don't have to keep moving it out of my way. Look at my, my little rolled up spot here worked out quite well. So let's go put that back under there on this side. Okay, move it, boop, 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 boop. there we go. Okay, let's see, somehow we shall have to figure this out. All 
All right, we're just gonna go. We're gonna do it. I shall just have to slice and cut and move and all that fun stuff. So this guy can meet up exactly right there. And right there. And right there. Okay. So let's get... This is still floating over here. We don't want that attached to anything yet because we want to take care of the, the door here first. So I'll just slice... there first. Make sure that's attached. The transfer, I mean. Okay. So that's good. So now we got the this part here. So we'll start doing the cutting between the drawers. Okay. So there's our middle piece. So let's get this attached and then get some of these pieces out of the way. Okay. You can use your fingernails too. Okay. All right, so there's the door. Now let's get this middle guy here. Oh, don't forget the tip of the leaf. Okay. All right, so those guys are out of the way, taken care of, don't need to worry about them anymore. Okay, now comes the fun part. All right, so this one, I think that we're pretty easy lucky on this one that we can probably just, mm, maybe not. Maybe, let's see. Mm, now, I'm going to have to snip in between here, like a, just a little snip down the transfer. So when it, let me see if I can show you guys that. Let me move the door. Let me move the door. So when you wanna go around hardware or whatever, you're going to want to just make like a little, like a little notch. So you see how these two are pulled apart? Cause I just make a little cut there, right up to where it's going to go. So that when I apply it, it will separate and go around like this little um, part of the hardware and it'll go up underneath where it is. So it will look like it was intentional like that. Okay, this guy is a heavy one, you know. All right, so now let's do between this one. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably do a couple Couple strategic cuts here. Okay. Because I don't want this guy sticking yet. Okay. Woo! Perfect. Thought for a sec it was stuck there. Okay, so let's see. I can probably take this guy out. Yep. All right. That's probably a little bit easier to see. Okay. I got a little bit to go still, 15 more minutes. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm just tucking those little cuts up underneath there so that when I apply the transfer, it looks like it should be up under there. Okay. That. Did a little crooked cut there, but that's okay. That's okay. 
All right, let's see. Okay. And let me just smooth it down and I will show you how perfectly it went up underneath that piece of hardware. See? Now obviously I can get like a little something in there and smooth it down even further if my fingernail isn't quite long enough. But how perfect was that? So that when your hardware's down, it looks like it was meant to be like that. So that's basically what we're gonna have to do in a bigger scale on the next couple drawers. So let's bring it down a bit. So I'm going to leave this one out just so that I can figure out how to do these. Because I'm basically just gonna have to cut it into like a four almost to fit it underneath and in, I think. I don't know. I have to still think it through. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, guys. I'm not quite sure. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Where's my split? It's right here. Okay, well, all right, we're just going to do this. And hope for the best, because <laughs> why not? Okay, so that should be two separate pieces, right? Well, it should be, is it? I don't know. I'm gonna leave that middle one for the last because I think I can handle this one first. Okay, so this will need to be cut the same way so I will need to cut it up and into it, like so, right? I think even further, I gotta get up even further. So that it can get down, up, and underneath, right? Down, up, and underneath. I know that sounds crazy, but down, up, and underneath, like I have to tuck it down underneath that bit there. Okay, so we need to cut it this way as well. And got to cut it just a little bit more. I'm, I'm telling you, transfers are like puzzles. You just got to keep going until you get it on. Okay, so that guy is down there underneath. All right, so let's get this. Uh-oh. I cut a little crooked. So I may have to save this piece right here. All right. Okay, so that should fit. And that should fit. And I have to cut this here. <laughs> okay. All right, that guy's under. He's attached. This guy kind of worked, but kind of didn't. So he just needs to be cut off. Okay. 
that guy needs to get tucked under and this guy same thing cut I'm basically just cutting off the little extra that I had um, because I don't need that attached to I mean teeny tiny little bit because I don't need that attached to um, that ball part of the hardware oh it's absolutely easier without handles and if I could have got these suckers off I would have but they would not come off I tried I tried everything I could think of to get them off so sometimes that's just the way things happen and you have to figure out how to make it work so that's what we're doing we're figuring out how to make it work. Okay. Let's see how it looks. It's pretty good. I think it looks like it was meant to be that way. All right, Coolio. All right, let's get this all smoothed down. And if I need to, I can always go back and, um, you know, fill in any oopsies or anything that doesn't look quite right with, you know, paints or whatever. But I think that looks pretty darn good. Some wrinkles, but I think that looks pretty good. I think so. Okay, so now our middle one here, this guy, he will be the worst. This one I probably will need to uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Make a lot more cuts, I think is what I was trying to say. Huh, all right. So where do I want to cut? Since it's a full image, where do I want to cut? I want to cut up to the hardware, right? And then cut around. Ow. Because that can be fit underneath. Yeah. I forgot what I was doing. I mean, I, I knew what I was doing, but I forgot what I was doing. I forgot how to do it. Okay. And then that way too. Okay. So that can go down under there tuck it under there okay <laughs> i really wish the handles would have been able to come off but no all right and then same thing on this side that way and go that way try not to get the transfer to stick to your scissors either okay can you guys still see okay good and then tuck this under the handle so it goes back up to where it was to match up with its counterpart there. You see, I tucked this piece here through the hardware so that it matches up with where I cut there. See, that's my cut. So it's now matching up. And then I'll do the same thing with this one and it'll match up there. Okay, so now in the meantime, Stick that down, stick 
that down and tuck this under. Come on, there we go. And hope they match up. If they don't, again, I can always fill in with paint. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good, I think. It's pretty close. It's a pretty close, tight match up there. Not perfect, but it's close. All right. Yeah, so I think I'll definitely be able to go in and uh, fill in, you know, with just a little drop of paint. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. As I'm peeling it back, I mean, it's stuck, but I'm just getting all the, the wrinkles out as I'm going. Okay. All right. Peel that one back. And I can just tear that one off. Tuck all this stuff in. All right. Okay, it's not easy, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes, right? All right, pull that around, make sure this leaf is attached, okay, all right, and my last piece there we go I mean that's not that's not as bad as I thought it would be so I just need to go in and there's a couple of um, there's a couple spots that I can add some paint in there but once I add the paint I don't think you'd be able to tell at all I mean that's pretty good not perfect but it's good and then if I use a really high grit sandpaper, I can get rid of any of my wrinkles. But that's pretty good. See, there's a couple, there's a couple spots there. Right there, where they line up that I didn't quite, didn't quite get it. But pretty good anyway. I'm not gonna leave the hardware blue either, by the way. I'm gonna add, I'll, I'll distress it and add some gold and stuff to it. Okay, so let's see, put it back together see what it looks like where did my other drawer go there it went okay so pretty okay and then this door goes on this side so you guys can just see what it will look like and I guess next time, or I can do a separate video on doing the rice paper. But you guys get the idea. Look how pretty. I love it. Love it, love it. And then I will probably add some of the smaller little pieces or little bunches that are in this transfer. Um, on the side with my uh, um, my stenciling, just to give it a little extra, and then of course I will probably add some to my top as well. Yeah, I love it. I think it's so pretty, Coolio. All right, well, thanks guys. Thanks for hanging out, 
and um, I will uh, see you next Monday. And um, if you didn't watch it this time, then catch the replay and put hashtag replay. And I'll know that you guys uh, are watching after. All right, so I'll see you later. All right, bye, thanks.